Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In the following series of lessons on taxation, you're going to learn about um, how much tax you've got to pay, what counts as a deduction, what's gross income, taxable income, uh, income tax rates, everything to do with tax you're going to learn in the next few lessons. Now, unfortunately, I'm not a qualified tax accountant. I am a maths teacher. So all of these lessons are basically just so that you could pass your maths test. It's nothing to do with giving you actual tax advice. So make sure you um, use it for the correct purpose. Okay, so starting with the lesson, I'm going to briefly give you guys a bit of a talk on the tax return process. Unfortunately, it might be a little bit boring, but um, it is important for you to understand. If it's a bit unclear to you, um, don't worry too much because in the subsequent lessons when we go through it in more detail you should be able to understand it right now I'm just giving you an overall picture so what is tax well if you look at it in the simplest way possible each time your employer pays you they have taken off a portion of your wage to send to the government so let's say you get a thousand dollars a week right um, i know that most of you watching this probably don't earn that much right now but let's say you get a thousand dollars a week now the government might take away two hundred dollars off that okay or your your employer might take off two hundred dollars to send to the government so then you only have $800 left and that will go into the, your, your bank account. So um, this is just a rough estimate. So please don't use that in the actual thing. This is just me explaining to you um, what tax is. So yeah, you've got your pre-tax income, which is the $1,000 minus the $200 of income tax you know another word for that is payg pay as you go pay as you go it's called that because as you earn the income you pay the tax straight away so that's why it's called pay as you go income <clears throat> so once you take off the money for the government uh, as in the form of tax then however much you have left so a thousand dollars minus the 200 we had eight hundred dollars left that's how much you get in your bank account now the income tax is a percentage of your income the higher your income the higher the percentage so remember when i said that a thousand dollars let's say you earn a thousand dollars a week you might take off $200 of tax and that'll give you 800. But if you earn $2,000 a week, um, let's say, let's assume that the percentage is real here. Um, it's 20%. Let's just say that was real. All right. If you earn $2,000, the income tax rate might not be 20%. It might not be uh, just 20% again it might increase so it might go to 25% so you might have to pay instead of 400 you might have to pay $500 for tax and then you only get 1500 these are all estimates right now I'm just trying to illustrate that the percentage could increase as your income increases and we're going to talk about how to accurately calculate how much tax you've got to pay uh, in the next lesson or two. So you might think, well, I've already paid the tax. Okay, every time I get my pay slip, I've paid a bit of that to the government. So in, at the end of the financial year, every year in, uh, in after June 30th, 
why do I need to do a tax return? That's because some people, uh, for example, myself, spend a lot of my income on things related to work. Now, some of these examples, <clears throat> they don't apply to everyone, but it could be petrol, it could be uniform, it could be stationary. So, for example, let's say uh, at my work, I have to buy whiteboard markers to write on the whiteboard as a teacher. So that money um, is related to work and that needs to be taken out of my income, which I'll explain in a second. Or if you're running a company, um, you have company expenses such as rent, travel, advertising, phone equipment and so on. The government doesn't know about that. You have to tell them, I spent all this money on work, so my actual income is less. Okay, so if you have spent some of your income on work-related expenses, also called deductions, then the money you spend no longer counts as your taxable income. So what that means is, for example, in, in the previous example, I earned $1,000. And I took the 200 out of that as tax straight away. But what we're teaching you guys now is instead of that, Okay, what should happen, which the government doesn't know about until you do your tax return, is rather than using the $200, sorry, rather than using the $1,000 as taxable income, what should happen is I should take into account all the money that I spend on work. So $1,000 is what I earn. Okay, but let's say I spent $50 buying lollies for my students. I spent $20 on buying whiteboard markers. How much money do I have left? I have $930 left. That should be the amount that the government then uses to calculate how much tax you should pay. So it shouldn't be it shouldn't be nine it shouldn't be one thousand dollars take two hundred it should be nine hundred and thirty dollars take whatever twenty percent of nine thirty is and the government will only know about your seventy dollars of work related expense at the end of the year when you do your tax return but we're gonna do all this in more detail in the next few lessons so don't worry yet So by doing the tax return, you let the government know exactly how much your income is from all sources and how much work-related expenses you have, which allows the government to calculate exactly how much tax you've got to pay. Okay, so let's say you don't just have one job. You might have three jobs. Your first job might be working at Coles. Your second job might be uh, your second job might be working for your dad at home, um, do, doing some uh, lawn mowing or something like that. And then your third job, let's say instead of a job, let's say you might have some money saved in the bank and you get a bit of interest from the bank. So at the end of the year, you're going to have to tell the government, okay, I have three jobs, this is what I earn. I have work-related expenses in all three jobs. These are the work-related expenses. And then the government will take all this information and recalculate how much tax you su you're supposed to pay. <clears throat> now, the good thing is, if you earn under $18,200 in one year, you don't pay any tax. So that's probably why um, a lot of you are thinking, well, how come I don't have to pay tax? It's because you earned less than $18,000 in a year, 18200 Now, after you have submitted your tax return, what happens is if you have paid too much tax, so too much PAYG during the year, you will get a refund. If you did not pay enough tax, then you have to pay the tax you missed. So if you have 
too much income that the government didn't know about, they will make you pay more tax. So that's basically what the tax return process involves. I will talk through more about every single step and we're going to do the maths involved in the next few lessons. So don't worry if you feel like you have no idea what's going on. We're going to go through each of the steps, step by step, with the maths involved in it so you can successfully uh, <clears throat> complete the exam and do your tax return and things like that. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.